believe we should be live now. Hey everyone, this is Chris Chung, the developer of Cat Lateral Damage and now the remastered uh, game, Cat Lateral Damage Remeowstered. Um, this, uh, yeah, this is this is the second uh, Steam Game Festival that Cat Lateral Damage Remeowstered has been a part of, um, and perhaps the last uh, since uh, the plan is to launch the game pretty soon, early next year. Uh, so yeah, so Cat Lateral Damage uh, and Remastered are uh, first-person destructive house cat simulators um, where you play as a cat on a rampage, uh, knock things to the ground, and uh, do all that stuff your owner hates. So yeah, I'll just get into it here. So if you've seen the original or, or, or played the original, you'll know pretty much the, the, the premise. Um, first person game that instead of you know having guns or being violent is about being a cute little cat and all you have for, for weapons are your teeny little paws. Um, um, and yeah your objectives are really just to knock things onto the ground. Um, and that, that was the, the the main objective in, in the original game, uh, with a little bit of variance here and there. Uh, but in Remeowstered, there's a couple different uh, objectives and a few new features that uh, that weren't in the original game. So uh, in this game, you'll see you'll have uh, a couple uh, tasks, different type of tasks here. Uh, this first one is you know topple some number of books. Um, this one starts off as 20. Uh, there's also play with a scratching post and find uh, that kind of ratty, ratty purple <laughs> ball. Um, which is actually a real, a real toy that, that our cats have. Um, I think uh, when, I, when I made that uh, original image, uh, the, toy, the t toy had four pom-poms on it. And, uh, when I made this image, it had three, and now um, it's kind of made a resurgence and uh, only has two pom-poms, so uh, slowly, slowly uh, getting destroyed as it's as it's being well-loved. Um, so yeah, so one of the uh, big changes uh, in Remeowster from, from the original Cat Lateral Damage is uh, instead of having a timer and a certain amount of time you have to... Uh, complete levels or or you know knock things over uh, you have this energy meter which you can see in the top left of the screen um, and that uh, starts off full and every time you do an action like jumping or swatting uh, or, or even just running around that energy meter goes down slowly uh, so it's kind of similar to a timer in that it limits how long uh, you spend inside levels but Instead of it being a constant timer that's constantly going down, uh, it's based on your actions. So, you know, you can take some time, kind of look around the room, uh, plan out uh, what you're doing, uh, what you want to tackle next without feeling this ongoing pressure of, of time going down. Uh, and also, uh, in addition to that, there are a couple ways to increase your energy. So I'm about order of energy now but if I jump in one of these glowing spots um, you take a nap uh, and that regains some percentage of your your energy uh, there's a couple other ways to regain your energy too um, that, that were added recently um, so if we go over here into the kitchen um, we'll see these food bowls uh, and so one, one kind of somewhat unknown feature in the, the first game is if you if you kind of look at some smaller objects see if this yeah like this plant um i don't know if you can see it on the stream but your crosshair will turn from kind of this this cat nose to um this this other icon um and if you press the f key you can pick up objects um and carry them around 
and you can use them to knock other stuff over um, or you can just kind of throw them on the ground uh, which is helpful for trickier things like you know objects that are here in the sink which might be harder to swat out but you can pick them up and just kind of boop them onto the ground um, but yeah so this kind of uh, with this food bowl the icon changes to a different uh, biting icon and if you if you hit the F key now, uh, you'll you'll eat eat the food and regain some of your energy. So, but yeah, so there there are a couple of ways, you know, like napping and eating. Uh, you can also eat some of this some of the stuff on this sandwich too. Um, there are a couple of ways to to increase your energy while you're playing. So uh, it, it may it may feel like you don't have a lot of time to spend in levels when you start, uh, but there. Yeah, if, if, if you can plan out your route, you can find find ways to, to boost your energy a little bit. Um, and in addition to that, there is a new uh, there's a new kind of progression metagame uh, that's that's different from the original game. Where uh, let's see if I can find let's, let's show off these curtains. Um, so if we go over back over here, pop up stool and on this table so um, you can scratch these curtains which is also a, a brand new feature in, in Room Yostered, and these kind of star-shaped uh, cat treats pop out uh, and, and those are kind of you can see in the top right I have 28 of them currently those are a form of uh, currency in the game um, so you know as you play you'll find them in a bunch of places there's even uh, if we jump up here on the fridge, there's this this treat bag. It's kind of hard to see from here, um, but if you knock that over, um, treat, treats will pop out of that. So I definitely want to collect a lot of those because you can use those uh, in a couple of different ways. Uh, one of which being to purchase uh, permanent upgrades for your for your cat, uh, and and one of those upgrades is to increase your energy, so you have more starting energy when you when you play levels. Yeah, so in this mode, uh, completed two out of the three goals, um, and also, yeah, capped off this uh, kind of high score meter. Um, and these, these are, oh, got some new cat photos, some new men. Uh, this uh, kind of yellow circle, uh, kind of collar tag icon, uh, is sort of the main uh, kind of progression. Uh, metric, so it's similar to say like stars in, in Super Mario 64 or Sunshine or any of those, uh, where as you complete goals uh, and get high scores and levels, uh, you get some number of these collar tags, and you can use those to unlock fu uh, future levels. Um, there's about 10 levels in the game. Uh, this is just the first one, but uh, let's let's retry here. Um, I played a bunch earlier, which is why I have some. Uh, kind of a handful of, of these treats and, and photos. Uh, let's see, I forget which photo. I didn't get Will's photo yet. Let's um, go over here. Get Will's photo. I should think he's scratching at my door right now, <laughs> trying to get in. Uh, yeah, so these. Uh, actually, let's go. So if you, these these cats are, are cats that I've owned. Um, Nippy was my, the tuxedo cat was my uh, childhood pet who the, the original game was was inspired by. <clears throat> and these other two are Will and Lynn and they're, they're my current cats. Um, and yeah, in addition to them, there's a bunch of other uh, cat photos in the game too. There's, you know, a handful of, of family cats that, that we had growing up or, um, you know, that my, my sisters have. Uh, extended family has um, and then we for, for the original cat lateral damage we did a, a kickstarter uh, back in 2014 so yeah a, a bit over six years now uh, years ago and uh, we got I'm trying to remember we got I think over 200 photos from kickstarter backers uh, and, and all those make their return in, in this game uh, plus a handful of new ones so I think in total there are 270 cat photos, or I should say pet photos, because there are uh, a small number of, of non-cat photos in the game. Uh, and I, I can show that off 
side a little bit, but yeah, I think there's probably 10 or so non non cat photos, uh, which, which was one of our, our tiers in the, the Kickstarter. Um, I think we have, I think it's, it's a mix of some dogs and a couple uh, reptiles, <laughs> or uh, I think it's a, one reptile, one amphibian. Um, sure, so let's go to just finish off this last goal before going out of energy. Put some more of these treats for later. Um, yeah, and at, at any point you can, you can, uh, you know, if you've completed all the goals that 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 are available in the level, and you've done pretty much everything like, like I have here, uh, you can just end the level and uh, it'll it'll go to this kind of tally screen showing all the things that you've you've completed. Uh, and yeah, so this is uh, the the. The level you'll see in the demo if you check it out during the, the Steam Game Festival. Um, yeah, so I got this one 100%. So yeah, so these these perks, uh, as they're called, uh, is what I was mentioning before, uh, where you collect these treats and you can... It's sort of like a skill tree for for your cat upgrades. So I've already unlocked the, the first uh, energy one to give me a little bit more starting energy. Uh, but there's a couple other uh, main categories, one being your movement speed. Uh, or different movement options. There's jumping and then there's swatting. Um, so a lot of them just have the kind of standard stat boosts uh, to make you move faster or jump higher or, or swat harder. Uh, but there are a couple special ones. So like in movement, there's this uh, uh, dash ability you can get, um, which lets you kind of blast forward, knock a bunch of stuff over. Uh, it can be super helpful for getting across gaps uh, kind of higher up without having to jump straight from the floor. Uh, there's also a double jump um, and a couple uh, charged swats. So you can hold the, the mouse buttons to kind of hold your paw for a little bit and then unleash a stronger swat. Um, and that, that takes more energy, but it, it, it's good for swatting heavier objects onto the ground. Uh, so I think um, just jumping would probably be a useful one to get now. I'll, I'll purchase that. Um, yeah, and in the, the Steam Game Festival demo, um, I believe the first the first one of each of these is, is available. The other ones are, are locked. So yeah, so that's that's the first level in the um, kind of goals goals oriented mode. There's, there's a couple other modes, uh, and that, that goals mode is 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 new to remastered. It was not in the original game. Um, <clears throat> yeah, one in the original game, I don't know if too many people knew it, but uh, all the levels were procedurally generated, and that uh, procedural generation system has been carried over to Remastered as, as its own mode. Uh, so this, this procedural mode is very similar to uh, the one that, that was in the original game. And then the, the more sandbox, uh, casual, litter box mode uh, also makes its return from, from the original game. So we can hop into uh, procedural mode. Uh, yeah, all the playable cats from the original game uh, return. Uh, including Fart Cat, <laughs> uh, with his own special fart sound effects. Um, yeah, and here, uh, there are a couple levels that are, are, are in right now. Um, I should actually just hop over to this first uh, studio level, which is the same kind of theme as that, that last uh, goals level, but again, all procedurally generated. So um, all the, the goals, the level layout, uh, the cat photos you'll find, the, those are all uh, generated at as you start the, the level. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so in this one, what's a little bit different from that last level is that uh, there's a goal for top toppling some number, some some amount of cost of, of objects. So, uh, yeah, this is one of the weird things of procedural generation is sometimes you just get a bathroom with a toilet. That's it. Um, so I'll slowly walk away. Uh, get this cat photo. Um, yeah, so there, there's a goal for toppling uh, a total cost of objects. So, so every object in the game has has a cost, which you can see in the bottom right. And uh, yeah, you want to try to go for the more expensive objects. Uh, so, that plate's worth fifteen dollars. Uh, plant's only five. I think this, this plant's probably similar. Yeah. So yeah. So so when you have a, a goal to uh, 
topple some some number some amount of cost of objects you pr you want to go for yeah like the 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 bigger more expensive ones whereas uh, like the second goal which is just to topple some number of objects you really just want to go for the the easy ones um, again before you run out of energy oh, and just, yeah like like the original game if things don't land on the floor they don't count because um, it was also also very true with with uh, real cats too Okay, so those goals are done. Um, cool. So the last goal we have is to topple two tissue boxes, which would be in here. We have plenty of energy, plenty of energy to get them down onto the ground. They cooperate. Yep. So yeah, so that's all the goals uh, completed in this level. Uh, oh, no, time to show off. Oh, let's see if I can get up here. So, jump on this curtain. Uh, so this this uh, catnip power-up is... There, there was a catnip power-up in the original game, but this one uh, acts a little bit differently. The, the original one uh, just maxed out all your stats, so you would run really fast. Uh, there was some uh, visual distortion. Uh, this one got a little bit of an upgrade, um, and that it kind of makes everything really wonky for a little bit. Um, and what that is, what that means is everything's actually going in slow-mo except for you. Uh, so it's kind of this like superpower that you have for a certain amount of time. Uh, so you're kind of tripping out on this for a couple seconds. Uh, oops, I don't know if I can get up there in time. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so it oh and the other thing it does is it it, uh, it locks your energy meter too. So you don't you don't deplete energy while you're uh, under the effects of catnip. So you get you get a little bit of extra time. Uh, it's a little bit easier to get around and, and knock a lot of things over. Um, and yeah, things just are kind of silly uh, with the, the audio and the visuals. Yeah, so yeah, I guess another thing with, with these goals. Uh, you can get different types of rewards in procedural mode. So you can see in, in three of these goals, I got I got treats. Um, and the other two, I got new photos. So uh, like I said, there's, there's about 270 cat photos in the game. Uh, so if you want to see them all, you really have to do uh, find them in levels or complete a lot of goals in, in procedural mode. Uh, yeah, so. Let's go. Speaking of cat photos, let's go back. Uh, yeah, so the the photo menu also got an upgrade in this game. Uh, yeah, there's, there's there's a collection similar to the original game where uh, you can kind of see your game stats of you know how long you've played and um, mostly like completion metrics here. Um, you know how many things you've toppled total. Uh, one of the things that I I do want to implement uh, is uh, with using Steam's uh, kind of global stats is putting a big counter here of every object or the total objects that every player on Steam has toppled. Because uh, I think that, that'll be a fun stat to see here. Uh, and then you can see kind of how what, <laughs> what percentage of that you've you've toppled in your game. Um, yeah, there's, there's a list of, you know, all the objects in the game. Uh, not all of them are in uh, right now, uh, since the game is very much uh, still in development, but uh, they will be uh, making their way over from, from the original. Um, yeah, and then here's all the different cat photos. Uh, these are the first three uh, that I, I mentioned earlier from the first level. You can kind of get a, a better glimpse at them here. Uh, they're also split into categories. So the, this first category is, uh, you know, my, my family cats, the ones that, that we grew up with are ones from uh, family members. Uh, the second group is, is cats from a lot of our friends or, or other developers. Uh, this, they're categories for, for playable cats, and then the other ones are mostly based on, uh, you know, these are these are like tabby cats. Uh, I think we just unlocked this one. Um, furry cats, black cats, tuxedo cats, uh, more gray and white cats, ginger cats. I like I like this one with Penny in, a, in her little tank. Um, calico and tortoise shell cats. Uh, and then pairs of cats. So yeah, as part of a Kickstarter, we got a lot of 
um, people who didn't want to just include a photo of one of their cats. They wanted both their cats to be uh, included. So we, we have a special section for those uh, groups. Uh, yeah, and then of course there's uh, dogs and other non, non-cat pets, which uh, I've not collected much of. Hop over to another uh, procedural level. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is the apartment, which is very similar to the first level in uh, the first cat lateral damage, the original. Um, this one has, has a slightly different theme. It's a little bit bigger, has a couple different rooms than, than the studio. Um, this one has these big plants that you can swat at. Yeah, and actually one of the kind of smaller, um, couple of small visual changes in, in Room Yostrick from, from the original game. Uh, so, so, fun fact, the original game didn't have any outside doors. <laughs> they were just the doors in between rooms, which, uh, if you think about it, it's a little bit weird. Um, uh, but also the wallpaper has gotten a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, so in the original game, there was just one pattern, one color for entire levels, uh, and here, I've, I've kind of uh, upgraded the procedural system a little bit to give different textures, uh, different wallpaper patterns, different colors, uh, different curtain patterns to, to uh, each each individual room. So they uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to, to remember, you know, oh man, I remember there was something I wanted to collect or, or topple in the bedroom and I don't remember how to get to it <laughs> or, or what it looked like. Um, yeah, ho hopefully it's a little little more obvious with, with slightly different visuals on, on things. Um, see, what do we have for goals here? Oh, we have to find scratching curtains. Can I reach this one? Yes. Like more of these treats for later. Double two spoons. Uh, it's like darn spoons. Oh, that's one. Yeah, so this is kind of tricky. Maybe I can pick it up. Or maybe not. Just keep, keep swatting. When in doubt, just keep swatting everything. Got a couple more cat photos. What's that? Hey, hi. And Mer. Oh. Let's see. Get some more curtains while we're here. run out of energy before I complete any goals. That's not so good. Is there one spoon over here? Oh yes, yes there is. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we have at least <laughs> at least one goal done. Oh although there are a bunch of plates here, so I should be able to break a couple more. One more. One more. Cool. Okay. And yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get 42 objects <laughs> in uh, with the remaining energy that I have. So, so just look around. Maybe I can get a curtain? No, I guess not. <laughs> Let's see what we get. We got a treat, uh, a couple photos. Evil. Do I have enough treats for an upgrade? I don't think so. No. Cool. Uh, let's do a different level. So yeah. So those those are kind of the studio and the apartment are kind of the standard uh, house levels. Um, uh, and then after that, you get to kind of the fun levels like the. The log cabin in the modern home mansion. Um, let's jump to the log cabin. I think uh, the log cabin, I think, has some of the best music in the game. <laughs> Just uh, having, having kind of re listening to it uh, while working on here. Um, it's, it's just so good. Uh, let's see, $3,000 worth. I think what's the most most expensive item here. I think these kind of taxidermy, these mounted deer are worth a lot. Yeah, okay. We'll get that one, we'll get this one. Uh, 
let's see, a couple of photos here. What is this? This is Bossa Nova. And there's another one up here. Get these books, they're not. Can't see it. Fido. Okay. How many photos are in this? There are four photos here. Oh, that's a fun bug, which. Where's the vacuum? The bug I found, uh, I think it was yesterday or earlier today, that was uh, came in a bit late, is uh, so there's this uh, robo vacuum that you can run. Uh, so you can jump on it. And it'll kind of take you around the level. It's, it's AI is pretty dumb, um, just like slightly dumber than a real vacuum. Um, but I, I think there's a bug I have to look into where, uh, so normally if you have a task to ride it, you have to jump on it and uh, wait some number of seconds and, uh, to complete the goal. But I think, and I haven't actually seen it happen, but I think if other objects fall on top of the vacuum, uh, it'll count the goal for you. <laughs> um, so I'm, I think like, yeah, something like this, like the plant, I think landed on top of it uh, and, and counted the goal for us. So. But yeah, it, it will push things around. Uh, oh, yeah. So that's that's uh, something I look into. Uh, let's see, top of clothing items. So we have six, how many here? I think there was only five here. Push some of these off. Okay, where else are there clothing items? Uh, there might be another bedroom here. Oh, I need more energy. I think I'm gonna hopefully get to this nap spot. Uh, Rest for a couple seconds, and cool. get a little bit of energy. There should be a couple other spots too. Uh, oh, another cat photo, or pet photo? No, it's a cat. It's Ruby. Oh, there's more clothing over here. Just need one of those. Oof, I don't know if I'm gonna find another spot. Oh, but there, oh, here's one. So there's a spot here, there's a food bowl over there. We can have a snack, regain some energy. Just spend a little bit more time in the level. Maybe get those other goals completed. Another thing you gotta change. It's weird. It's kind of weird that there's a shelf with books on it in the bathroom. Um, I mean, I, I guess if you need reading material, that's fine. But it seems a bit excessive. Uh, oh, it looks like there might be something up here. Oh, catnip. Yeah. Okay, so I get a little extra time to knock over some of these things. Kind of definitely feels like a superpower compared to the the uh, original game. Original game, it just kind of felt uncontrollable and uh, kind of wild. But let's see. Let's see. So yeah, so for for this topple uh, paper objects goal, um, books do count. Uh, there there are sheets of paper you can find. But yeah, one of the, the kind of properties of, of books is that they're, they count as, as paper objects, uh, as, as well as like office supplies or, or things you might find in an office. Can we do it? Cool, okay, so that's all the, the goals then. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, swipe at this a little bit, get some treats, one more. Okay, cool, so now they have enough for another upgrade. There's much else to be done here. 
do we do? Got a couple more treats, uh, a couple more cat photos, and forget how many. There are four photos in this level, uh, and I got all of them. Okay, 29 treats. So yeah, Bossa Nova, Dido, Ruby, uh, Tang, and Abby. And these ones we get for, for completing goals. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised no uh, non-cat photos have, have shown up yet. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll do SWAT, SWAT power. Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll jump to the uh, the last uh, level that's kind of in here, which is this, this modern home. Um, there were a couple of bugs with this. Okay, yeah, this, this is the, the newest level to come in, so there's a couple uh, rough patches with it. Uh, yeah, like one of the goals is missing uh, missing an image there. Uh, there are a couple of new things here. Uh, TVs here. Oh, it's good there's no goal for uh, knocking over a bunch of expensive things, because I think the TV is one of the more, more expensive things in the game. Uh, yeah, so this bathtub and toilet are kind of different. Sink is different. Uh, yeah, and this very uh, a more kind of geometric level with, with these kind of triangle pattern curtains and uh, horizontal uh, line wallpaper. Uh, kind of these uh, bright colors. Bit of an energy boost. Let's see a cat photo up here. Diesel. So oh, here's one of the toys to collect. Let's see, is there anything up here? Yeah, so the thing about these these toy goals is sometimes they're they'll show up on top of uh, surfaces um, like tables and such, but uh, very often they'll be hidden in. Oh, these doors are kind of wonky. Another another bug I need to fix. Uh, yeah, sometimes they're inside uh, other other objects. So like you can open the. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I actually did not know that was going to be in there. Uh, I think that's the first time I've ever seen a toy uh, get placed inside a washer or dryer. Uh, but that was not very good for demonstrating the point I was trying to make. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple couple places like that where you kind of have to open cabinets to, to find objects that are inside. Uh, this is one of the other uh, toy like objects. Um, I'm gonna slap the slap this ball around. Let's see one other. Oh, I can show off the uh, yeah, the vacuum goal since it's not hasn't been bugged yet. Uh, yeah, so the the vacuum goal is can, can be pretty easy. It's it's one of the more easy uh, goals, uh, but I, I did run into a situation where. Uh, the vacuum was in like the bedroom and uh, I was trying to ride it and it just happened to drive underneath the bed <laughs> which uh, meant I had to wait a little bit for it to kind of do its thing and come back out uh, so there's a couple other ways I'm, I think I have to make it a little more challenging than just stand on it for, for two seconds I've been paying attention, my energy is pretty low. Uh, I don't remember seeing any nap spots. This might be it for this level. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think I'll, re I'll replay this one. I uh, hope, hope it doesn't break. Um, so, oh wow, this cat photos for <laughs> rewards for those goals. Oh, and there are three other photos that I didn't even see in the level. Cool. 
Uh, yeah, let's retry this one. Uh, cross fingers, hope it doesn't break. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the bug there is that there's, uh, since it's procedural, it places all the furniture down and then tries to determine a place for uh, the cat to spawn. And every now and then it'll it'll generate a level that doesn't have a valid spawn location. Uh, and currently the game just kind of hangs indefinitely <laughs> when that happens. So, uh, uh, yeah. So that's that's one of the one of the trickier bits of of having procedural levels is just making sure that they uh, actually generate something that's playable and something that that isn't completely broken. Uh, and yeah, right now there's there's a couple. Uh, rough edges to work out in, on the, the system, but it'll it'll get there. Oh, so two, there are two cat photos in this room. Uh, oops. Let's see, Jasper. Yeah, I, actually, one of the fun things, funny things about having like 270 cat photos in the game is uh, you're bound to get repeat names, and I think. In the original game, there were only, I think, two cats that were that had the same name. I think I think there were there were two cats named Barry. Um, but uh, yeah, I think some of them uh, I think may have been duplicates because, but but it, it didn't really uh, count because there was like a single cat with a name and then a pair of cats where one of the cats had a similar name. I think Luna was one of those. Um, but yeah, I think with with the the added photos in Remyouster, there's a couple more, and just uh, that cat Jasper reminded me, because um, my since since uh, the time between the the original game and and uh, working on this game, my one of my sisters adopted a cat named Jasper, uh, so there's, there's definitely a duplicate there. Um, I, th I think there might even be one name that there's this one uh this one name that comes up three times for three separate cats or or like two cats and, and one of the non-cat photos um, but i was actually surprised there weren't more duplicates for for names i feel like um people have generally been oh, that's let's just ignore that uh yeah they're, they're, i feel like people have been really really creative with their their pet names uh, so you don't you don't tend to get a lot of duplicates. Oh. Uh, let's see, forks. Okay, so that's all the forks. There's one boy. I think they can show up in the oven. Sheet. Oh, floating sheet pan. <laughs> yeah, it's like I said, this level is very much. Uh, in progress, under under construction, so uh, there are a couple couple things that need to be fixed uh, before it's it's ready for prime time. Where is that toy? I feel like it might be in the bedroom, or bathroom. Usually they're they get kind of they, they tend to show up in the, like I said the, the closed areas, so. There's actually no wardrobe here. Oh, maybe maybe here. I'm, I'm betting it's in here. Nope. <laughs> Just a couple of rolls of toilet paper and some cleaning spray. No, I'm not gonna find it. If, I think I, I have it. I notice when I play, I have a tendency to jump a lot. Uh, and that definitely drains your energy more than just uh, just walking around. So I, I tend to burn through energy pretty quickly when I'm playing. Oh, here's here's a wardrobe. Oh no, I don't know if we have enough time. No, it's not here anyways. <laughs> okay, yeah, I have no idea where it is. Uh, so is that <laughs> one goal? Okay, uh, how many photos? Four, four out of five. Not bad. Uh, Sagan and Kepler, Jasper, uh, Lillian, Starwolf, Neelix, Covering Catnip. Uh, 
accounts. Let's see, let's maybe go back to the log cabin just because it's so good. Uh, Dom in the chat says, uh, I love the shaders. Uh, thanks. I've been uh, trying to give them a bit of polish over the original one. The, the original game was was, was quite flat. Um, just, it used a lot of like default, uh, like the default Unity shader, uh, Tune shader. So I've been trying to upgrade it a little bit uh, just to give it a little more visual uh, in, in visual interest, really, um, just so it's not not as flat. Oh, I just saw saw a dog photo. Oh, go get that one. Uh, yeah, so like some of these things, like in the, the, the these nav spots, the, the shader has a, a couple bugs. But um, actually, the speaking of shaders, I don't know if I showed off the sync stuff. Yeah. So yeah, one of the other kind of minor features more or less like an easter egg was in, in the original game was being able to like turn on the sink um so that that, that got an upgrade in this game so there's actually two states so um it's kind of this low low state and then it kind of goes into this more uh, erratic state when you when you turn on both both uh, handles um yeah this it doesn't really do anything in terms of gameplay but uh kind of a fun thing uh, keeping keeping with the theme of messing things up and doing what you're what you're not supposed to let's see i'm not completing any of these goals let me get this uh scratching code yeah i tend to find when i'm when i'm playing like even when i'm just testing not not streaming i tend to just zone out and don't i forget about goals until my energy is like really low uh or, you know, I'm, if I'm testing one thing, I'll get distracted, knocking stuff over and not end up <laughs> looking at what I was originally testing. Um, which I think, I think is a common, common, uh, I, think, I don't know if it's feedback or just, just a, maybe a compliment <laughs> from, from people who, who played the original game was that it's, it ends up being a pretty relaxing game uh, when you get into it. Uh, especially in, in like the, the litter box mode where you know there's no timer, there's no goals. You just have this big level to, to make a mess in, um, and there's you know no, really no pressure. Just kind of do what you want. Um, and yeah, again, since it's, since it's a game, you don't have to clean up the mess afterwards, which is always which is always fun. Uh, always a good thing to have. Uh, yeah, and I guess kind of along those lines of, of kind of the relaxing bit of it, um, one of the, the features that, that isn't in yet, which uh, I've been kind of... Uh, it's, it's in the design phase right now, is uh, some more uh, overarching challenges in the game. Uh, and by challenges, I mean more like uh, longer-term goals. So a lot of these goals are built in, in a way that they're completable in... Uh, in in one run of a level uh, so for example like the play with a scratching post uh, like that goal only shows up if the level has a scratching post or like topple topple office supplies uh, it when the level gets procedurally generated it it, pick, it it keeps track of what objects were placed in the level uh, and then it'll generate goals based on that so that every every goal is achievable uh, and for these kind of long-term goals, uh, thinking about more goals that you can complete over multiple play sessions. So, uh, so something like you know, topple a thousand books, which you know wouldn't normally be possible in one level, but um, as you play through the game, you know they'd be persistent, uh, and then you know they they might unlock something for you, uh, like uh, more more cat photos or. Uh, playable cats or you know what have you so um, yeah that, that's kind of one of the ideas that uh, that I've been thinking about recently which which is it's, it's a new new feature that wasn't in the original game um, just as kind of a way to give you some goals to go after um, even if you're not kind of playing these these uh, 
goal or, or procedural levels. Like if, if you're just, you know, I just want to play for a bit, knock a bunch of stuff over. Um, it, it'd be nice to have some other uh, long-term goals you can complete while you're doing that. Uh, just so, you know, you can you can unlock things uh, in, in other ways than just, just playing through these, these goals levels. So. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get a little bit more playtime out of this level. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get $2,900 worth of objects with the limited energy I have. Uh, especially since I didn't see any of these, any of the deer, the mounted deer heads. Uh, there's another napping spot up there. Let's see if I can kind of parkour my way up there. There we go. Cool. Let's see. Uh, I feel like I, I used <laughs> all the energy from that first nap spot uh, to get to this one, so that might not have been the best use of energy, but uh, let's see if we can find... I think the, the three breakable objects should be easier to find. Uh, maybe? I don't know if there's any here. Yeah, there's definitely, with, with the, the new energy meter, there's, there's definitely feel some pressure to get stuff done in time. Reach a shelf? Yeah, okay. Ooh, sweet. Okay, so yeah, so there's a couple <laughs> couple places to, to gain some energy here, or, or regain some energy, uh, and a couple breakable things. They should be high enough that they should break. Yeah. These, these aren't worth a lot, but uh, yeah, I was able to get the breakable objects. Uh, goal completed. Energy's back in the yellow. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what might be expensive enough since, yeah, I think <laughs> only got about $500 worth of objects. Um, hmm. What else have we got here? Maybe shoes? Maybe these shoes will be... Okay, not too much. Oh, uh, so yeah, so Dom asked in the chat, uh, how did you get so many cats? Um, yeah, so we, we did a Kickstarter for the original game uh, back in 2014. Uh, and one of the reward tiers, well, there was a couple, but the, the main one was um, you'd get a copy of the game and it was one of the higher tiers. You, you would get a copy of the game and uh, you could submit one photo to put in the game uh, of a cat, of, of one of your cats, or, you know, a friend's cat. We had a couple people who sent in their, their friend's cats. Um, and I think that tier was so popular that we kind of blew past it and had to do another one <laughs> um, to get a bunch more. Uh, and then also, I think it was pretty early in the Kickstarter, somebody asked, you know, I don't have a cat, but can I submit a photo of my, my dog? Uh, and at the time I was very adamant that like, no, this is a game about cats. We can't, we can't have dog photos in the game. It's a cat game. Um, but as you can tell from the dog photos, um, I did eventually bend to that. Um, but the caveat with that for that Kickstarter tier was, uh, you could submit a photo of your dog, but the tier was one dollar more than the cat photo one. So um, you just had you had to pay a dollar more to get a, your dog in the game. And I think we got, I think we got like eight dogs or something like that, or eight eight non cats because we got one iguana. Um, so yeah, so so most of these cat photos are are from that Kickstarter tier, um, but there are a handful. Actually, haven't counted recently, but I think there's about 20 or 30 cat photos that are just from um, like me or my family or my friends. Uh, so you know, like cats that I've I've met in real life, <laughs> um, or or that that we've had uh, growing up. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's yeah, I think I think that sounds about right in terms of kind of where we source the photos. Um, yeah, I think one thing I, I would like to do in this game too, in, in Remastered, is is get even more photos. <laughs> um, I, I think it's, I, I've joked in the past that I think this is, like, if, I feel like we have like a Guinness record of like 
number of cat photos in one one video game. Um, but so I'm so I'm always happy to kind of increase that number. Uh, but I, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to uh, kind of have have players submit photos. Um, I think one idea I had. Oh, that's a lot of uh, kind of ginger ginger gingery cats. Um, yeah, one 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 idea I had was um, uh, potentially uh, after the game launches, doing kind of a, a community update of of cat photos. So, um, you know, people who have who have played played Remastered or you know join our Discord or mailing list can uh, kind of submit submit photos for for being fans of the game. Uh, and I think we get probably a good a good number of additional photos from from that. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's still uh, to be determined. So, because yeah, I think that that's that's one of the the probably one of the more common uh, requests for for people who 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 love, who love the game and who have played the game is they're like, oh man, I I really want to put my cat in the game uh, somehow. Um, and yeah, I think I think adding more cat photos is is pretty easy. <laughs> um, Although I will say I think the with the original game, um, yeah. If you if you played the original game, I th I think you may have noticed the download size is like a gig, which seems kind of big for this type of game with you know the such you know limited limited graphics and 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 uh, uh, you know simple simple art. But uh, I think most of those most of that file size is cat photos. Um, because they're, they're stored at a pretty good size, like 512 by 512 pixels, just so that, you know, when they when you see them in the game, they're not super blurry or, or pixelated. Um, so yeah, so when you have, uh, you know, like 200 cat photos and they're all 512 by 512, that's, um, you know, eats, eats up a lot of space. But uh, yeah, I tried to do a little bit of, of optimization with that um, in, in, in Rumi Austern, so. Uh, I think right now, again, not not all the content is in yet, but um, I believe even with all the cat photos, that uh, the file size is not even a gig yet. I think it's only like 150 megabytes. So uh, yeah, just something something I'm I'm kind of keeping an eye on uh, as as uh, development goes on here. This was supposed to spawn treats. I did not see them. Uh, oh, I don't know if I can get 10 objects in that time. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, is there any place to regain some energy? Sometimes down here, yeah, cool, okay. We'll see. It might be possible to get these last 10 objects. Oh, those are kind of heavy. Oh, here we go. Yeah, plenty, plenty of energy. Uh, oh, there's another photo up here. What's this? Oh, oh no, <laughs> fell over. Sometimes you can pick it up and. Millie on the ground. Oh, and that's all the photos in this level. And that's all my energy. <laughs> so yeah, actually, yeah, I think we're uh, stream is only scheduled to go for another five or six minutes. Um, talk about some of the other new stuff uh, that that will be making its way in soon. So. Uh, yeah, currently the, the first couple levels are in. Um, there are uh, a couple of, or actually more like a handful of, of bonus levels that were in the original game that will be making their way over. So uh, like the museum and the supermarket levels. Uh, there's also a couple uh, holiday theme levels like the, yeah, like the Frightful Lab and the, 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 the holiday uh, den level. Um, I think the the museum and the supermarket will probably get uh, a bit of a revamp uh, just 
given how they were kind of like the biggest levels in the original game and they tended to have some kind of performance uh, issues uh, as well as just being really big and kind of cumbersome to run around so um, I think those will get a bit of a revamp uh, but a lot of the other levels that will be uh, kind of the same um, and there's one more level I'd love to put in which I'll have to see if uh, if it fits in the schedule uh, but uh, one of the levels I, I, I really wanted to put in the original game was uh, kind of a space themed level uh, sort of like a um, not really a uh, space shuttle, but kind of like a, <clears throat> a moon base uh, where uh, it's you know has a lot of scientific tools and technology, uh, and gravity is low, so uh, so you kind of float around and you can jump higher and that sort of thing. You stay in the air longer. Um, that, I, I'd, I'd love to have that as kind of a new, a brand new level that that was not in the original game in in Room but uh, yeah, again I. Gonna, gonna see how it how it fits in the schedule because there's still a handful of things that that still need to get uh, get done in in uh, you know just kind of standard standard features uh, baseline features. Um, so yeah, what else? What else is new? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of different uh, new goal types that made their way in uh, compared to the original game. Uh, yeah, I think just, just kind of a, a bunch of polish on a bunch of different areas. Uh, so, like the... I kind of showed it off earlier. Uh, just grab these cat photos first. Uh, I think I showed it earlier in the stream, but uh, the... Oh, another, another bathroom with just a toilet. Um, I'll go tweak those values a bit. Um, so yes, yeah, so this, this uh, toilet paper has gotten a bit of an upgrade. Uh, before it was just kind of like disjointed sheets that, that weren't great. Um, so yeah, toilet paper got a little bit of a, some some share love. Uh, let's see what else? Curtains, brand new feature. Oh, that that vacuum also a new feature, but is also broken right now. Uh, like broken in a silly way, not not like a annoying way. Uh, Oh, this this alarm this alarm clock that I'm way too proud of that reads the actual time. Um, I think there's yeah, there's one in the uh, should be one in the kitchen too on the microwave. Yeah, <laughs> dumb dumb little features. Uh, yeah, I think they're just just kind of a, a handful of improvements across the board. Uh, uh, in terms of, or, or in addition to the kind of overall progression uh, upgrade of uh, kind of unlocking levels and uh, unlocking different upgrades, um, you know, just uh, all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, let's see what else what might need to do here. I'll get this. Oh, I don't know if I can reach that catnip. Uh, might be able to do something tricky where jump off this photo. <laughs> yeah, since it since it is definitely a uh, physics-driven game, there are some tricky things you can do sometimes. Like jump up here. Sweet. Oh, I should regain some energy first. Um, yeah. So yeah, catnip upgrade. Yeah, I feel like there's. There's a lot of compared to, compared to the original collateral damage. Uh, Rumi Ostrid's, you know, a lot of the, the the core stuff is the same. You know, you're you're still a cat doing cat stuff, um, knocking, knocking as much stuff on the ground as you can, um, and yeah, just trying to keep that uh, concept and just kind of refine it a bit, uh, so that you know, there's there's a lot more to do. Um, you know, there's lots of, a lot more stuff you want to do when you're playing through the game. Because yeah, I think one of the, the big big pieces of feedback that I got from the original game was you know a lack of replayability or um, you know people just wanted more more stuff to do. So uh, yeah, with 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 Rumi Oster and, and and kind of re rebuilding the game from scratch, uh, you know building it from the ground up, trying to get all the the stuff in from the original game but better, uh, and then adding a bunch more stuff. Uh, so
So uh, I know one of the kind of post-launch features that I've been talking about is uh, potentially getting like a third person camera um, and, and view so that you can actually see the cat. Um, hopefully help with uh, some players who experience motion sickness with first person games. Um, and I think once once that in uh, other features like local multiplayer become uh, you know more more viable. So there's, there's still a bunch of stuff I think that um, would be great to do uh, in the game uh, or be great to add into the game. Um, but yeah, a lot of that's kind of again trying to fit it into a schedule. Um, you know, make make sure it's not a game that's you know takes forever to come out. Um, and yeah, I think just make sure it's something that that people who enjoyed the first game will will like even more. Uh, and uh, you know, hopefully, a bunch of new players will will enjoy it as well. That's, um, yeah, I think it's it's a game that I that I'm it's <laughs> very very close close to my heart, and I hope a lot of people will will enjoy it when it comes out. So um, yeah, so definitely uh, give the game a, a check. Check it out. Um, give it a look uh, during the Steam Game Festival. Check out the free demo. Um, and yeah, if you're you're interested or just want to uh, learn more, definitely add it to your wish list. Um, if you go to catlateraldamage.com, there's a bunch of links for you know the Twitter for quick updates. There's a mailing list um, where I send cat photos, sometimes uh, some freebies. Uh, and then yeah, we have a, a Discord server, uh, which at this point is mostly just sharing cat photos, which is great. Uh, so yeah, if, if any of that stuff sounds cool to you, or um, just want to get involved with with the game, um, maybe submit your cat photo. Uh, yeah, definitely check those out. Um, and yeah, um, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the rest of the Steam Game Festival.